Hi guys, welcome back here to another video and today we are going to be making an apple cake Yeah, there's our cake form here We're going to make an apple cake So for an apple cake you need flour, sugar, melted butter, apples because it's going to be an apple cake and you need baking Powder. So what we are going to do is we're going to start off with peeling apples and uh, we have to slice them and dice them. Yeah, let's, let's uh, start with that. So we have the apples here. We have uh, three, six, we're going to divide them up. We need uh, apple pieces. And we need um, apple slices as well. So let's uh, just half them and half the apples here. Quarter them. We're gonna put them. We're gonna put the apples, apple pieces here. Hope you guys can see that, yeah. In here. Um, we're gonna have to peel them as well, so we're gonna have to put them in there. Put the skin in a, in a different bowl and throw that away. What you don't need, and you want to get uh, those red apples. People say that you have to get uh, the green ones because they're not as sweet. But I prefer the red apples because they're a little bit sweeter than the green ones. The green ones are a little bit too sour for my taste for making an apple cake. We have one, two, three, four, five, six quarters here. We're going to dice them up. Okay, let's uh, dice them up. I think I had about six quarters here. Six apple quarters. These are going to be on my diced up apples. I'm 
All right, put them in here. Da ist der Wackel, ist gonna cut some more because that might not be enough. Got one over there. I'm gonna put the video on pause, I'll be back after this. Alright, our sliced, our diced. Apples, so we're gonna have to cut the rest of them up. We're gonna slice them. All right, so we are gonna slice, slice these apples here. Because so we need the slices for on top of the cake, and the dices we're gonna give into the cake mixture. All right, slice apples. Now we're gonna have to make the dough. So what you need for that is, you need 150 gram sugar, 4 eggs, 150 gram of um, melted butter, and 200 gram of flour, and a little bit of salt, and that is it. So we are going to get all that together. Alright, we're going to put our mixture into this bowl here, so we need 4 eggs. Crack four eggs in here. That's good. And you want all the eggs, whole eggs. One, two, three. Right in here, we put the, the rest of them away. Now we need 150 gram of sugar right in there. Sugar, 150 grams. Right in here to the egg mixture, the eggs here. <coughs> now I need 100 to 200 grams of uh, baking powder. That's the baking powder, not the baking powder, but uh, the flour. 200 grams of flour here, I got. And you need a packet of baking powder. That's baking powder. Just one packet. And what you may want to add is <clears throat> here a drop or two of butter vanilla. And or you can add here I have here lemon vanilla as well. So I don't know how good the camera is picking, picking this up here. That is the butter vanilla and that here is the, the lemon vanilla. You can add a couple of drops of each in there. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, I'm going to put this out of the way because I need some melted butter. Oh, how much do they want here? 100, 150 grams. I don't, I don't have any butter, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use the rest of this, and I'm going to use some margarine. Some margarine. Alright, 
All right, let's uh, melt the rest of that butter and the margarine, and then we're going to be back. We need the butter to go into the mixture later on with the with the flour, but we don't want the dough um, too stiff. We want it a little bit fluffy, as they say. So when the butter and stuff here is melted, we'll probably put you guys either over there or or here. So I'll be back when this butter here has melted. And you have to preheat your oven here at 250 degrees. Preheat your oven here to 200 degrees. So when your cake is, is uh, in the in here, then you can uh, put it in the oven. All right, you have to the mixer. We're gonna mix this up. And, and you want to mix this up until this is nice and fluffy. So I'll be back when uh, this is all nice and fluffy on. Yeah, so I'll be back when it's all nice and fluffy. That is what it's supposed to look like. We're gonna go like that. And now I'm gonna add in a couple of drops of this here. Lemon vanilla. I'm gonna add a couple of drops here of my butter vanilla I showed you guys earlier give it another, another mix That's what I'm going to add in next. My butter. It's going to whiten it right up. It's going to whiten it right up. Look how white that dough got. Look at that. That is what you want. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the baking powder to my flour. And 
need a spoon for that. We mix it right up here. Flour and baking powder together. My oven is at 400 degrees already. I'm going to add the flour in here together with the baking powder. Not all of it, I don't want to have the dough um, too thick. Alright, let's add in some more. It's still a little bit thin, so I'm going to add in some more flour. Yeah, that is thick enough already. You don't want to add in any more than maybe just a, a quarter or so. So I'm going to get myself a spoon, then we're going to um, put the apples into the dough. Here are my apples, they're going right into the dough here. I'm going to give that a mix. And the mixture looks something like that. We'll put that over here. Get our baking tray. We have to butter, butter in the sides. And that's what I, oh, I forgot to do. I got to butter, butter in the sides. So I need a bit of butter here. You can do this with your hands. If you have a buttery brush, you can use the buttering brush. There's a lot of, lot of bakers, they will use, use their hands anyway. So. so the buttering on the sides of this uh, baking tray, it's therefore so that the cake won't stick to the sides. I'm going to take the paper back out. I'm going to butter Put her in the floor of the, this uh, here baking tray. You can also do that with your hands. Put this paper back in. You, you need baking paper on the bottom of the of your baking tray, guys. If not, then you're gonna have a problem at the end. All right, let's uh, put the dough in. In fact, we want to get every almost every dough out of out of this here bowl.
Alright, let's uh, flatten it then. Smooth it out on the top. We have a spatula. I'm going to bring the camera up here. Like that. If you have a spatula, you would probably be better off doing it. But you want to have this as smooth as you can. And you want to have it like <clears throat> as even as you can get it on top. Like that. So what are we going to do now is we're going to put the slices on. Where are they? Here they are. We're going to put some ap apple slices on top of the cake. So you have something going on like this. I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to put some in the center here as well. Now you don't, you don't want your apples, um, you probably want them as close as you can, as you can get them. Close to each other. So that you don't have any apples left over here at the end. Now that's going to be my, my Christmas cake for the weekend. Put them in here. Put another one in, in here maybe. I've got a couple of slices here left over. I'm going to Oh, that's that's better. <clears throat> Put some in between, maybe. Here. Put one. We'll put a small guy in here. Look at that. Got some apples left over. Um, can we put one more in here? Yes, we can. All right, so my oven is preheated at 200 degrees. We're going to put it into the oven here, shut her up before the heat goes out, and you want to have it in there about a half an hour. And you, and you want to check it every now and then to see if your cake is uh, not sticking or not burnt or yeah all these things you have to look at your cake every 15 10 to 15 minutes you know so yeah that concludes this video this is gonna be part one part two is where I'm gonna be taking the cake the finished cake out of the oven we're gonna put some some sugar powder on it uh, we're going to see what the cake looks like in part two so thanks for watching guys hope you have enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what you think of this video subscribe watch the videos give it a like and uh comment yeah do all that good stuff guys you guys are awesome so we'll see you guys in part two bye bye